Mm. Are you awake yet? Hello? There you are. <laughs> oh, boy. You know something? I really, really think this whole marriage has just gone downhill. Mm-hmm. It's not because of me. It's because of you. You won't accept our love. My love. Why is it too stressful for you? to just accept it. I don't get it. Do you want to have a happy marriage? Because I do. I sure do. But yet you keep on making this harder for me. I didn't want to have to punish you the other day. But you left me no choice. I had to. Now your fingers are gone. You're lucky that I just cut off your thumb on your other hand. Other than that. Luckily. Didn't hurt you that badly. You got something to say? Because you're acting real quiet. You're what? You don't want to be here anymore. I see that right there. I don't get it. Hmm? Oh. That wedding ring? That's an old wedding ring. You know, I really don't talk about it, but I used to be married way back then. But she's long gone now. We had a lot of good adventures and a lot of good outcomes, I guess. But she was the only one that escaped from me. So I had to set there as a loss. Unfortunately, her name is Melissa. She was an awesome woman. An amazing woman that I loved. Until she didn't want to love me anymore like you are right now. But she was strong enough to escape from me, surprisingly. <sighs> but you know what? I keep this as a remembrance. A reminder of me not to ever make that mistake ever again to whatever woman I get with. It's never letting you go. And that's you. Hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had that last encounter in my knuckles and really messed up. I just hope just punishing you would have been a good cause for you to learn. But right now, I still don't see it.
Oh no. Don't worry about that punch in the back. Those are my parents. I don't talk about my parents that much. Be quiet about my parents. <laughs> Sorry, I just... Uh, I, I just want to make sure we're clear. You're not leaving. Ever. I will not make this... I'll not make myself <laughs> be quiet. I'll not make myself be tortured like this. Losing the people I love. And I'm not going to make that mistake again. So, <laughs> you be good because I have to go somewhere. I have to run a few errands. No, it's for you. You'll see when I get back. Don't do anything stupid when I get back. All right. I'll be back. <sighs> Honey, I'm home. Hmm. <laughs> I'll get used to saying that. I usually don't say that. You see. There you are. Still sitting in that chair. <sighs> like I said, these are for you. A rope, some tools I'm going to use, and some other stuff. I'll get in that too. Wait. Wait a minute. Something's wrong here. Why do you look like that? Are you hiding something from me? Shh, shh, no, before you answer that. Are you hiding something from me? You had a phone. You will unstrap yourself in the chair. At least one in part of your hand. Who are you texting? Who's Tony? Who is Tony? <laughs> you know, I'm glad I bought these tools today. I get to actually use them. I was going to save them just in case you ever did something bad again. And that's the perfect day. So, are you going to tell me who Tony is? Or are going to have to use this on your hands again? Or maybe your feet? Tell me then, who is it? Hmm. 
You know what? Okay. I'll just find out myself. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Oh, your ex-boyfriend, I see. Ah. Tony, listen, I need you to help me. Mm Mm-hmm. My boyfriend's crazy. Boyfriend's crazy. What do you mean? He has me hostage in the basement. Mm Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, why are you calling me your boyfriend? I'm your husband. This boy's me to marry. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, she responded. Don't worry, I'm going to get you out. I still care about you. Oh, how sweet. Let me show. Stay quiet. Is he gone? Yes, he's gone. Hurry before he comes back. (laughs) You are an idiot, then. In fact, I've been an idiot. I should have never left. Somebody told me you were going to do something really bad when I left. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I'm not going to do that. I want him to come here. (laughs) I want him to come here. And you're going to stand right in the living room where I can see you. And he can see you. As well. Don't worry, don't worry. You're going to see. Come on, you want to go for a ride? Let's go for a ride. Let's go upstairs. Let's go to the living room, shall we? Since you want to be like that, I'm going to be like that too. (laughs) I'll wait for him to come here. Now you stay there. You shut up. Be quiet. Put this around your mouth every time. It's stupid of you, you know. I'm tired of it. So, wait for your boyfriend to come. I'll be upstairs. It's me. What are you saying? No, no, I'm trying to get you out of here, okay? Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, it's okay. I'm going to get you out of here. What are you muffling about? (coughs) Oh, isn't that so beautiful? Your boyfriend tried to save you, and he gets killed. Stop crying. You brought this on yourself. You should have never did anything bad. Like I said before, I don't want to hurt anyone. But you keep forcing me to. (sighs) You know, the more you do this, the more worse it's going to get for you. So now I had to probably, I also got to get rid of this body. Then, do you know if he has, I know he has parents. Is his parents around somewhere? Someone that he knows? Friends? (laughs) See? (laughs) No. Oh, wow, look at that. His phone's sharing his location. I should probably turn it off. As soon as I figure out the passcode. Oh, look at that. 
Easy. Figured out the passcode. Didn't even have to look anything up. Anyways, while I'm turning this location off, if his parents find out, or his friends find out, I'm going to have to get rid of them too, unfortunately. You see, this is what happens when you just don't listen to me. If you just listen to me and stop trying to get out of this marriage. You would be fine. You belong to me. No one else. You're mine forever. You understand me? Do you understand me? Look at me. Do you understand me? Good. Now I got to throw you down in the basement again. Oh yeah, I know. I am going to punish you for this. Don't worry about it. You'll find out eventually what's going to happen to you. Since you want to hide secrets from me, I'm going to hide secrets from you. Anyways, let me take you back to the basement. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hit your head? <laughs> now then, you stay here. Let me put some good handcuffs on you this time. You know what? I realize that you need to stretch a little bit. You come, you come here. Yeah. I'm chaining you up against the wall. I'm doing things differently this time. There we go. Now then. Well, I'm going to try to bury this body somewhere. You be good. Because I'll be back to punish you. You'll find out. And if I hear his family relatives or his friends knocking on the door, they're obviously going to know something's wrong. I'm going to have to get rid of them too. You just remember, you did this. Not me. Also, just remember that you're mine forever. You belong to me. You say it back. Say it! Yeah, I belong with you. You keep repeating that phrase. That don't want you to say that while I'm punishing you. Anyways, you be good. For now. I'll be back. I love you. I said I love you. Good. I'll be back.